Hello, uh, just want to keep it short and sweet because I worked on these three, um, these three, can't fit them all in, <laughs> abstract pieces and I wanted to make a vlog kind of following the progress and, and the layering because as, as you can tell there's lots and lots of layers in these pieces of work. I hope it makes sense because I'm kind of, I paint the three at the same time. So it's a bit jumbly, so I hope you don't mind. And um, and thanks for watching. Can I also say a huge, huge thank you to everyone that's hopped over onto my Substack. Um, and I've put a link, I'll put a link below on this one, um, where I'm gonna have my kind of studio journal vlog and monthly-ish newsletter, which is the Bertimus Bulletin. Um, so if you'd like to sign up, please hop over there and uh, and and just thanks everybody for all your support really appreciate it anyway hope you enjoy this little film so to start these three pieces off i applied collage um, using vintage pieces of uh, paper um, i've collected them for many years i absolutely love the different kind of textures and colors um, i also love papers that have print or handwriting on them um, this process, uh, it looks speedy here, but uh, it took me the best part of a day to kind of be happy with an arrangement for the three separate pieces. Um, but collage really does make me happy. Right, so this was the first pass. Um, quite pleased with some of the textures, actually. Some nice things, surfaces may be coming through. Next thing is, is kind of deciding what to keep and um, what to get rid of. Because at the minute it's all very similar texture wise. So I'm going to, you know, push and pull now. And this is the this is the fun bit of painting, kind of the sacrifice, which bits you sacrifice to enhance other bits. It's it's almost quite like I would guess like playing a game of chess, although I can't play chess. <laughs> It, it's kind of gets to that stage, which I find really interesting. And uh, I also love stripping back layers and seeing what's underneath. So I'm going to have to build up more layers. Um, but some of these bits I do want to keep. So we'll see where it goes. Well, I'm at the stage now where I'm, I'm a bit stuck. <laughs> this always happens. You kind of set off a, off a cracking pace and uh, you can just chuck paint round and it's great fun and I've had a couple of hours of swirling paint around on the panels and now it's like mm, it's all a bit samey apart from a couple of the areas that I've blocked out and kind of rubbed back but this is all a bit meh and so I've got to create depth and I don't know, a softness or some movement. Um, yeah, the only bit I'm, I'm pleased with this. I really like that strip. Hmm. Next move. Okay, this is a second pass. Um, I've reserved some areas. I'm going really pale now. Um, I want some contrast. This is this is scary stuff. <laughs> I guess this is why I like it. Oh, I dare myself. So, uh, hmm. let's dive in. Okay, <laughs> I'm in, my lord. Quite pleased. I added a kind of, I suppose, like a pale duck egg blue. Um, there was a few hair raising moments <laughs> and it's not resolved but I really needed some contrast because it was way too safe so it's starting to create oh my husband's getting Sunday dinner ready bless him um, it's starting to create some interesting textures I think um, I just needed some of that cool next to the warm and to umph up the lights and dark so I've re 
painted some areas of the original quite dark grey. So I'm going to try the other ones now and uh, let's see where it goes. Anyway, not, not a bad day's work actually and I've found this old painting here which I think I want to, I think I've got an idea for it because it's always been not quite resolved but I do quite like the textures and I think um, I might be able to resolve that. So yeah, really enjoyed that session, very productive and lots of mess to sort out now. Hello, well it's a few days after I did the uh, first glazed layers of these three uh, circular pieces and I've left little notes to myself like I do because if I think I might have spotted somewhere I want to work and I might forget so I often put little post-its on so this one I feel is the one that has the most to be done um, but I do write little parts of it here um, this section here I think it's quite some interesting textures but it's it's lost in the middle and yeah that needs some work on it this one I think is kind of getting there I'm pleased with this this makes sense to me this section this is going nowhere this is wafty if that's a correct technical term. Um, yeah, I don't want any wafty parts of the painting and, and I like it when it's almost kind of organized and made sense, kind of like a map. When I do these kind of paintings, I don't know why, but they just remind me of excavating and then finding a map or a, a structure underneath. I don't know if that makes any sense. But that's why I really enjoy working with glazes because you don't really know what's underneath and then when when you find something and you think oh, do I push it a bit further and you might lose it or or do I just leave a little hint and it's quite exciting and also with glazes it's really um, forgiving because if you do over rub or you lose it or you need to redefine an area you can keep glazing um, this one, this squeaky chair, once again, sorry. I will sort this squeaky chair out one day, I promise. This one, I think, is the finished one. And it's always difficult to know when something's finished. But I feel, I, I have to, I feel like I stop adding. Oh, Middy's piped up. There was a leaf blowing past. She's a good girl, she protects me. Um... And I feel like if I can't add anything, and I often put my hands over areas or bits of paper over areas to see if it changes the balance of the composition, um, then it's done. And also I've come back to it now, it's been two days and I've looked at it and I think, yeah, I could push it further, but I'd, I'd just be, I'd be doing it for the sake of it and when I get that feeling I think right it's time to stop. I need to paint the edges, I think I'm going to do the edges dark, I don't really like that white against there. I think my favourite bit of this bit is this funny cut out bit here and then how the texture's built up in this area. They've kind of got a, a gritty feel as well. And I like this orange and this part here. And it reminds me, it's probably not going to, yeah, talking about not selling the aesthetics, but it reminds me of um, dirty traffic cones. And I love that colour. I love that colour. And a lovely, lovely person on Instagram commented and said they look really northern. And and I think they do. And I was I was... It was strange I was thinking about home and where I live here you can see nature but there's also that northern industrial part to it and um, I'm really proud to be part of that um, I feel you know I feel proud to be to be northern and I wasn't I wasn't particularly trying 
to communicate anything in particular. I, di I didn't have a plan and I really like working this way with um, abstracts and glazes, but then things start to pop up. Um, yeah, anyway, I've rambled on too long. I'm gonna have to get serious editing on this. I always do this. I start chatting and I'm like, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, um, but these, these two, um, I am now going to add some more collage. I want to block out some areas and define some areas and get rid, get rid of the wafty areas, which, um, yeah, let's see how it goes. See you later. Back, I can't find any orange. Oh no, disaster. Apologies for the dog barking and lawn mowers a go-go outside. Um, I found the paper and the elusive orange paper. Oh God, I didn't think I'd had any, I'd had any left and I was like, no. So, I'm so happy. I'm going to have to sort Middy out in a minute. I think it's nearly dinner time. But, whew, at least now we can all sleep at night. I know you was worried in case I couldn't find the paper. Well, I've been working on this third panel and I think I've completely overworked it. Hmm, but there's some bits I'm happy with. I like that bit. I like the bit of orange I've brought in, but oh, I'm going to have to simplify it. And over here, that one was finished before. That one, I think, is finished. Um, added a little shape here and pushed that bit back. So it was more of a decisive kind of passage of the painting. Ah, oh, but this little one here, we're gonna have to have words. See you later. So I just thought to end the vlog, I'd show you the finished pieces. So we have this one and this one's called Dwelling. Um, this little shape here reminded me like of a little, a little house or a hut of some kind. This one's called Inlet and that's because of that little shape there. Just looks like maybe water flowing in. Um, quite pleased with the textures that I've built up. And this is the third one and I haven't quite thought of a name for it yet. I'm not sure here reminds me a little bit of a of a bridge perhaps but I'm not sure yet um so yeah I'll have to have a little think but I'm quite pleased that I've finished a series of three and um, that hope they seem to go together and uh thanks ever so much for coming along and joining me along the process see you soon bye um and this one oh look I've just stuck my finger in the wet bit <laughs> Oh no, oh well, that's made an interesting mark. <laughs>